continuing with uh, graphing linear equation let's graph this equation so we're doing to, going to do both ways first using table and then uh, try to do it without the table so let's find some values of x and y which are neat and tidy points so this is my y is equal to 2 third x minus 8 okay so this is a tricky equation and we here we're going to write the coordinates Okay, so yeah, uh, let's take only positive values. So let's start at zero. So when it's x is zero, so y is two third times. Uh, so y is oops, y is two third times. Uh, so let's do without the calculator. So two third times zero is. If you multiply anything by zero, it's zero take away 8 or minus 8 is minus 8. So the coordinate is 0 comma negative 8. Okay. So the next point 1 would not give us a tidy number because 2 third of 1 take away 8 would again be a difficult number to plot. So let's go in 3's. So if you take 3, 2 third of 3. Okay. So 2, two third times 3 gives you 2. So that is 2 minus 8. I hope you understand. So let me show that in calculator. So this is two thirds. So you go two A B C three times three. Take away eight is negative six. Okay. And this is negative six. Okay, so when X is three, Y is negative six. Okay. And if X is six, okay. So this is 2 third times 6 is uh, 4, okay? So that's 4 take away 8 is negative 4. So let's confirm that on a calculator. Always good to check. So 2 ABC 3 times 6 take away 8. Okay, calculator understand bit man, so you can, that is negative 4. So when X is, when x is 6, y is negative 4. And finally, let us take 9. So can you see a pattern here? Negative 8, negative 6, negative 4. So the next number should be negative 2. So, so 2 third times 9 is 2 times 3 is 6. Take away 8. So let's check that on a calculator. So that is 2 ABC 3 times 9 take away 8 which is negative 2 so the last point is 9 comma negative 2 so let's plot these points so the first point is 0 8 0 negative 8 is here this is 0 negative 8 then you got 3 this is 3 this is 3 and negative 6 is here the next is 6 comma negative 4 is here and 9 comma negative 2 is here. Okay, so the line is again a straight line so the line goes like this. Okay so let's write the equation y is equal to y is equal to 2 third x take away or minus 8. Okay so let's now so let's identify the main thing. So this is your y-intercept. Again, a good step is to see, go backwards and understand from the graph. So this is your y-intercept. And what's a gradient? Gradient is this number is your gradient. Okay, so this is your y-intercept. Y-intercept. And this is your gradient, which is rise over run, which tells me I want you to stop the video and try to think what the gradient means. That means for a rise, this is the top number tells you the rise. The top number is your rise and your bottom number is your run. Okay, so you can start at this point 0, negative 8. So you have to rise to, so let me use a different color. So you have to, when you rise to, so this is a rise of 2. And can you see this is a runoff 3. Again, 
this is a rise of, this is a rise of 2, and this is a run of 3. Again, this is a rise of 2 and run of 3. Okay, so this is how you graph a straight line. So let us do it without uh, plotting the point, uh, without the table. Okay, so let's write the equation and see whether, so let me delete it. So this is delete. So let's write the equation. Y is equal to 2 third x, which is a smarter way of graphing straight line. So the first thing that you have to look is at your y-intercept. So this is your y-intercept. So you always start at the y-intercept. Okay, you always start at the y-intercept. So in y-intercept is negative 8. And this is your gradient, which is your rise over. The top number is your rise and the bottom number is your run. As it's plus 2, you have to go up. So this is going up to and then you have to uh, run three, one, two, three. So this is your next point. So if you go rise again, rise two, and you have to run three, one, two, three. Again, rise two, and run three. So this is your run of three. So these points are on a straight line. So this is how you draw the line, and all the points will be on the straight line. And then you write the equation y is 2 third x to our 2 over 3x minus 8.